Hey guys, Murph here. I'm just going to give you a quick video, a quick rundown of all the challenges and um, where we start and all that sort of thing for the GTA challenge on Tuesday night in the motorbike. So we'll start at the Pink Cage uh, Motel and they'll come up and I'll show you on the map here. Uh, we'll, we'll meet here what 8.30 I think from memory is the start time. Um, we'll be in the on obviously in the forum. Uh, we'll start off, meet up in the centre here, park our bikes up, take a couple of screenies, uh, laugh at those who made shit choices like and all that. And then we'll move that? on to the pro. second we challenge. So the second challenge will be wheels. up at the observatory. Yeah, Whereabouts on the map is it? There we go. <laughs> Um, and yeah, we'll it. move up there for the time trial. It's only only a quick like ride, probably about two minutes at most. So how far we get? Two point seven k, so it won't take long at all. Um, but I will fast forward for it. Yeah, so won't waste too much time by doing the whole route. Just quickly show you all the all the challenges. With the uh, first one being a time trial, so we'll we'll show you where you start for that there'll be one lap around the observatory um, on the footpath so it'll be nice and tight on the motorbike it won't be a really a speed challenge uh, it'll be a bit of bit of dodging pedestrians and all all that sort of thing so we'll use this red line as the start finish line um, anywhere on that now gonna do the challenges based on a point system rather than a time but the point system we laid out a bit more like Top Gear rather than the first, second and third getting points. Um, so basically like this time trial is going to be based on a... You have to be faster than 37 seconds, which is the time it took me to do this in, in this go. If you're faster than that, you will get positive points. If you're slower than that, you'll get negative points. And basically, if every second you're faster or slower, will be worth a minute. Uh, well, a minute, a point. Um, anyway, so the red line will be crossing the line for the time trial. So the second challenge will be a straight out flat race between us all. Um, so we're going to do it over at the um, construction yard, which dubs as a good old motocross course. No, not there. Further up, up, up. There we go. So yeah, just in and just uh, south of the Sandy Shores airfield. Um, so we'll fast forward through to that. So once we get there, we will do a one and a half lap race around the motocross circuit. Um, we'll use this wall here. We'll basically have our rear tires touching this wall. Uh, we will go last. Our first will be on our last place in the last challenge will be on the inside. First place will be on the outside. And um, we'll go at the drop of a flare and we'll do one and a half laps. So you've got to turn to the right, obviously. Avoid the uh, BMX riders. Try not to cut too, too many corners. I know you guys all will. I probably will myself. So, yeah, ignore the cut corners part. Um, keep roughly to the track around the S's and basically we'll do one and a half laps it's not as easy it's quite easy in a motocross to go around this but on any other bike it's actually a lot tougher so we'll make it a bit hard now it's going to be points for this one um it's going to be it's going to be 20 points for first 10 for second and five for third and the point and um it's going to be one and a half laps so i'll show you the start finish line when we get to it then i'll show you a f but i will show you a full lap so you understand where the track goes now back there there was two options for the track you can take both options if, it, if you can see the line on the map it's a fair route uh, I, so we're just about to come up to the finish line here as you'll see there's a bit of a Oh, gandry or whatever you want to call it that you go under that will be the start finish line now you can if you want you can go straight ahead or you can take the corner here or you can go straight ahead earlier and there's one lap we're back at where we start so it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of an interesting race with the different bikes and it'll be a bit different to obviously that time trial which was nice and slow so yeah just in case you weren't sure that's the start finish line there well, not the start finish line, just the finish line as you jump that. Anyway, 
the uh, the third challenge will be a cross country race from here, from this um, here area all the way to the bottom of the gondola that goes up Mount Chiliad. So if you take one quick look there, it will go. There we go. There's the um, start of the gondola. It's going to be quite a decent length race, and there's going to be multiple multiple roads and directions you can take to get there so it should be quite interesting um so anyway we'll i'll show you this in fast forward rather than the whole the whole circuit anyway so yeah multiple routes multiple directions you can go and um, this is the i'm just using the one that uh the basically purple tracker takes us oh never seen that before I think it's a gang attack here yeah, it is so excuse me while I go and do this gang attack I've never done yeah so while I'm doing this I'll quick tell you it's going to be the same point scoring system as the motocross race um, 20 for first 10 for second um, 5 for third we'll fast forward through it just so we can get there I'll fall off a few times <laughs> whoops um, but anyway, when you get here, the finish line will not actually be somewhere where you can get on the bike. You'll actually run inside, run up the stairs. I'm doing an absolute mess of this one, but yeah, run up the stairs. And the first one to get to the this edge, so the one that's closest to the sea, the one on the left-hand side as you walk, look at um, Toledo Bay. And once you get onto that ledge, that's the finish. So we'll move on to the fourth challenge, the first of the non-speed events. So it's not a far trek, but it's a bit up the side of Mount Chiliad. There's a bridge just next to the nudist camp um, that we're all head to for the fourth challenge, which is going to be motorbike jousting. So what you'll need to have is know how to use the me melee attack on a bike. Uh, I'm, well, somebody will know it in the game I for keyboard on the night but I because I use controller it's I believe it's X plus L, RB or LB depending on which side you are now as you can see don't fall off the edge when you get there slow down so basically we're going to take turns running up and down this uh, this bridge and we'll do it and as you get to someone you'll do a melee attack we'll go to the right hand side of each other um, don't jump off the bridge like I did so basically we will if you we will always pass each other on the right hand side and it'll be a knockout format uh, the, those who have on if it's uneven numbers to do a knockout those who have the least points might get a free pass on the first first go through so we'll try and make it so everyone's got a chance but anyway we will move on to number five this will be a challenge i'm actually not going to tell you about it's going to be a bit of a surprise all i'll say is obviously here's where we're going to, we're going to meet and all i'll say is that this is where armor might come in handy and that if you die you're out of the comp there's no points on offer for this one this is just you've just got to survive it to stay in the um, challenge anyway we'll move on to this fifth and the final challenge that we all do this will be titled motorbike javelin so it's going to start where we had the first jump challenge in the very first challenge that we did that rifty organized the cheap car challenge um, but this is going to have a slight difference instead of jump instead of um, getting off the throttle when you hit the jump and steering it from there I'm going to do it a little differently so I'll explain that when I go and do it but first off we'll go and show you where we start so that shed up there you'll have your back tyres touching the door now the point system for this one will be a case of there will be a, like the time trial there will be a standard standard metres you distance and the You'll get plus or minus from every meter further forward of that. You'll get that many points more, and vice versa for going backwards. And as you can see, the bike just died on me a bit. I showed you you're gonna have to be really careful as far as damage. Anyway, we'll hit the jump, and the difference being, you'll jump off. 
hence the javelin part you don't actually control the javelin once you let it go anyway uh, so the trick is I will pick the bike up um, I'll set a standard waypoint that I'll never turn off and it shows you how many meters away from that I am so we can give you the meters point I was trying to set didn't work so we'll just use that road up there and I was 68 268 meters away from it so if we can we'll use that as a base so if you're forward of that you'll get more points if you're behind that you'll get less cool so now we've done the last challenge we'll head to Beaker's garage tally up the points and then the top two will battle it out for the win in a one-off winner-take-all challenge. Uh, that's going to be a bit of a bit of a long-distance trek, a bit of highway racing, a bit of cross-country mountain, more mountainous challenge. That will be far more suited to a motocross bike than a street racer like we've got. Uh, but yeah, the the tiebreaker will be the javelin challenge if we end up tied on points like we did last time so and we're going to start this race at beaker's garage don't know why the guy's freaking out but oh well i'll just order another bike um because my one's a bit fucked hence the reason why armor might be an idea for your upgrades but anyway we'll scratch the idea of using the bike we'll just fly there so we'll Obviously start here at Beaker's Garage, top two will take off and we will get quickly there, save time, fast forward through it. This looks a bit, making me a bit seasick, but anyway we'll fly all the way here to this lake. Ooh, not good flying there. Anyway, it's this lake on the top northeastern shore and the winner will be the first to jump into the lake. Uh, so what I'll do if what I'll do it on the day is if I'm not in the top two which I probably won't be in fact I will rule myself out of the top two I'll still do it with the challenges but I'll be ruling myself out um, I will fly here land a chopper and tell you when to go and that way you know where to get there anyway look forward to seeing you Tuesday have a good one